in. This is my house, our house. Hello, people house. Murphy lives here. We've been living here for six years. Um, maybe we could show a few, a few clips of before, right now. And now you'll see the after of what we've done. Um, we've made two, I'd say two rentals during this house life. Um, kitchen is like a second rendition of a reno. And then we painted multiple times and upstairs bathroom we got reno twice. So six years, probably three years in renoed everything and three years again, we wanted to freshen it up. So we'll start, it's really open and small in here. Our square footage is 960 square feet. So gotta be creative. Um, this is the kitchen. This uh, countertop is pretty new, new fridge. Want to take a look in the fridge. Stocks for the quarantine. A lot of alcohol, not much for quarantine. But uh, the alcohol's in there, right? Oh yeah, some pale ales. Got some Coronas in there. I love my farmhouse sink. Um, everything we got here, all about saving money, is from Ikea. Have no problems with it, love Ikea products. Um, we got a mini dishwasher, not from Ikea, but kind of obsessed with it. I never use the dishwasher much, so like I don't need a huge dishwasher. Uh, love our stove top, we, we made this up in Peninsula here. Um, it used to be literally the oven was right here, and that's all it was. So we created a little space where we can hang out with all our friends. Awesome hangout space. Murphy loves hanging out here. Friends love hanging out here when we're not in quarantine. But even when we're FaceTiming on quarantine, we do it right here. Um, well, let me show you the pantry. Yeah. So, no pantry in the house, because when we did this, there was a pantry there, right next to the fireplace. But, because we wanted to have this islandish peninsula, we created the pantry, which is the stairway. But I thought it was super innovative, because uh, we're really, this never is this full, ever. It's quarantine time, baby, we stocked up. Two weeks in the house and we got it. Then this is also where we keep some extra stuff. Spices and stuff it used to be an ironing board, but we got creative as well. Tiny house living. And look at this. Got a mosaic Monday right here. It needs to be shipped, but it's still on the wall. I love decorating the house with pal people stuff. <laughs> number one, always changing pretty much. It's always changing. And number two, I just love the art. Brian does a great job. So hit us up, shoppalpeople.com. So our little area here, um, Brian usually sits at this table to do work. Uh, if you pull it out, if, or you could, we, when we moved in, that she had a dining room table here, previous owner, so it does fit. Uh, we just wanted to keep it more open. But yeah, love that built-in. Love the shelf above the window. We used to have more stuff on it. Becoming a minimal, minimalist slowly. I don't have much stuff. Can't even find stuff to put on that shelf. I don't need it. Don't need it. Who needs a lot of stuff? So let me come into here. Uh, this from the front door is our living room. We just redid the back wall with shiplap. Um, I think it needs to go to the top, but Brian likes how it is. This child is heavy. She's huge. She's like, I'm a huge girl. I'm a big girl, mom. Um, so we hang out here a lot. We used to never use the living room, but since having Murphy Girl, she kind of chills here. We chill on the couch, watch TV. So, good space. Don't need much more than this, I would say. Um, but yeah, okay. Are you ready for the upstairs, everybody? I love this staircase. You didn't take everybody to the front porch. Oh, you want me to do the front porch now? Nah. I'll do it on the way out when you guys leave. Love this staircase here. The trip lap continues. This used to be a huge gallery wall I had. Um, Brian must have loved hanging that up. So that was part of the rent one reno. I just wanted everything simpler. Say bye. -bye. So that's good. So come up the stairs here. It is uh, 960 square feet, but there are three bedrooms, which is shocking to people. Um, they're decent size to fit what you need. We'll go with the first room. Is an office slash gym slash closet space. Got a lot of hiding from my sweatshirt away. Oh, sorry. If you want to see my closet, you can. It's a mess. This is my closet. I'll show you versus Brian's. I just throw everything on the shelves. Brian luckily built me these three shelves in here. Helps a lot. Fits a lot. More than you think. Just got this desk. World Market. Love it. 
This is my, watch this mess. Holy crap, dude. I gotta clean up my act. This is embarrassing. Don't tell anybody. Got a sneak peek here. This is our room. This is where Murphy likes to come in the mornings with us. We've changed our room around so many times. If you can believe that you can change this room around, believe it. We've had this in the corner of our bed, in the center of here, um, against that wall, like every which way you can imagine. This was, we just had this dresser here. We used to have it here, now we put it back. Craziness, we always are switching stuff around. What's really good about our house are ceiling fans. Like, it's really nice in the summer to have a ceiling fan. And here's Brian's neat closet. Except that I put the bag there. Dude. <laughs> But yeah, the shelves in the closet really help add, because our closets are small, but it helps add a lot of space. And You're good. making my shit look bad. I'm sorry, dude. All right, next is Murphy Girl's room. Can I show them your room? Come on. This is her room. Good size for a baby. Uh, I painted that wall. She's got a mosaic, obviously. Gotta have the art. And two kinds of art from both her parents, which I thought was pretty cool. Little changing area, slash book nook, call it a book nook, right Murph? Call it a book nook. And then her pot is pretty neat. Wow, <laughs> you probably couldn't open it. I wanted to leave it open too. Open it. How do you get it? Just open it. I can't with Murphy in my arms. Okay. Neat closet for her. So. I know, definitely had enough storage. It's just about keeping things organized and getting rid of a lot of stuff when you don't need it. You don't need as much stuff as you think. People are pack rats and hoarders. No need for it. All right, here is our bathroom, the only bathroom of the house. Um, but we did just flip it. It was all pink tile at first. Then we painted the tiles to be gray. And then now we add the chip lab, new light, nice new mirror, and we got a new bathroom. So the tub is awesome. We went from a sh the crappiest tub you could imagine to probably the top of the line and besides getting a new tub. So I like Bathfitter, did a great job. This is not sponsored, but uh, check them out. They're in and out one day, one day. All right, that's the tour for upstairs. Got the nice walkway here. <laughs> okay, I'm going down, Murphy. I'm going down. I'm going down. All right, now we'll head outside. There's two people walking by, can we wait? We'll go out back. Oh yeah, I'll show you out back. This is where the, all the parties happen back out here. It's so nice out today. We could go basement. Uh, can I put her in this jumpy? No. <laughs> <laughs> can you really have me? <laughs> quick, quick. All right, our basement. Go slow though. Our basement's our paint workshop, really. So our, our house is basically half a workshop. But we've cleaned it up a lot. This is where Brian works. We lock him down here whenever me and Murphy need a break. During quarantine, he's down here basically every day because we can't even deal with him, right Murphy? So, yeah, this is the downstairs. Brand new water heater because ours just got flooded out like about three weeks ago. Pretty much it though. I like it down here, but don't come down here much. <laughs> Cat's ready to go out, which is convenient because I make the boys go use that all the time. They're not allowed upstairs. Just kidding. I say they're not allowed upstairs, and they're always upstairs, traipsing their sawdust through. Ah, oh, Murph, you know our struggles. All right, outside. Got a really big backyard, which we take advantage of to chip and putt, do all the golfing. And uh, we never did this before. This is new for us, bringing Murphy outside. So I've got to find things to do when you're stuck in. So that's pretty much it. I can show you the front porch. We used to be out on the front porch a lot. It was like our thing. Just the workshop there. Two car garage, workshop. We don't park in there. But we used to before we had the pal people. We got to go in. And I got kicked out. All right, I'll show you in here. When I'm walking like this, you can do some quick deals, right? Quick, fast? Yeah, whatever you need. 
So this could be automatic, but we have it off. Here's the workshop. This is where all the magic happens, where all the pieces are made, where some famous pieces have been made. Mosaic Mondays, one through 168. I think so. This is the this is the only part that everybody's seen. All right, everyone knows what this looks like. You want to just go right around to the front or come back through? We'll go to the back. All right, come right back through the house here. Quick, quick, before my feet get out. Hand sanitizer out of the way. Sanitize all the time, baby. All right. Here's the front porch. We gotta paint it. We're in the process of painting it. We're waiting for some couple dry days in a row. Rain yesterday. Gonna rain Monday, so maybe sometime next week we'll get this painted up. It'll be nice and fresh gray for you guys, for us. Um, but we're not. We used to be at our all-time friends' parties. We put set back around this table. This is our shit. This is our jam right here. We love it out here. It's the best. Um, nothing like a summer day on the front porch, but pretty much all I got for you guys. I hope you love the home tour. I love giving it to you. Uh, had nothing else to do, so figured I would go for it. Um, thanks, guys. Have great days. Hope you stay healthy. Stay, stay positive. We all are in this together. If you need anything, the Pal people got your back. Give us a shout-out. DM us, we're here for you. Shop link in bio. Bye. Stay home. Stay home, everybody. Like me.